I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know where Sheridan is. Stop lying, Hank. I know you're with her. And if you know what's good for you, you'll do as you're told. Kill her now. Help yourself to something to drink, Hank. I'll be out in a minute. Well, I can't believe that anyone would call and report a storm and see as a prank. It's prom night. You know how crazy kids can be. Look at the sky. Look at the water. Does it look like there's a storm anywhere near here? No. The call that came into the station now sounded for real. They said that the prom boat was in serious trouble. There is nothing on the weather radar screen that indicates a storm. Look, my brother and sister are both on that boat. Now, why don't we just take the patrol boat out and have a look? And look for what? We don't even know where the boat is. I am sure you're worrying for no reason. Power of evil has taken control, and there's nothing I could do to stop it. But you must. I can do nothing. It's up to you, Father. But if you can't do anything, what could I possibly do? Heavenly Father, help me. Help me to save the good people of Harmony. To stop this evil presence. Kill them. Kill them all. Drat! Can't tell if Miguel is dead or just unconscious. And Romeo has to be worm food before charity and our vast powers are fully ours. Miguel, move! Can you feel Miguel, move! He's alive! Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Charity must finish him off. I'll send her a subliminal message to get her started. Kill Miguel. Charity, you must kill Miguel. I've seen heard this before. Don't be afraid. I, I don't know what just happened, but I'm all right. Now that we're together again, everything's gonna be okay. Kill Miguel! Charity, you must kill Miguel! Charity! Charity! Ch stop! Stop! Help! Help me! Poor Charity. She's a good person. She knew what she was doing. She would never hurt Miguel. It's the beauty of it, Timmy. Thanks to the pendant around her neck. Good Charity is gone. And the bad charity is taking over. Long live the bad charity. <laughs> charity. Uh, uh, charity. Uh, charity. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh. Listen up. Everybody, we have to abandon ship. If you can't.
Crane? Thank God. I heard that the prom boat is in a storm. I've been worried sick about Miguel and Teresa. The boat is sinking, Fuller! Everyone's trying to get off! Oh, Dios mío, are, are my children all right? I, I don't know for sure! I think they probably got off while you have to call someone and send for help! Oh, God, Fuller! I tried to talk to Sam about Ethan! The storm may happen if I die before! I can tell him you'll never know that Ethan is the son! Teresa, there's no time. We have to get off the boat. No, not until you believe me. Not until you know how much I love you. If I am going to die, I want to die with your kiss on my lips. Kiss me, Ethan, just once more before I die. Try to pull anything, okay? I heard her voice. I know Sheridan's with you there. In her cottage. Now do as you're told and kill her. If you blow this, it's your funeral. Sorry it took me so long. Did you hear anything about the prom boat? Is that Luis? Uh, no. It's just a business call. Oh, important? Important enough. Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Someone made me a proposition. You gonna take it? I can't make up my mind. Well, what does it involve? Something risky? Fairly risky. Could affect my future in a big way. I wasn't looking for an offer, but um, it might be something I can't refuse. Look, Nate. Is it possible there's a storm out of sea that you don't know about? It would show up on the radar screen, Luis. And nothing's showing up? Absolutely nothing, and no storm headed this way either. Well, then I don't understand why we got nets with us from the prom boat. Look, why don't we just call them and, and make sure everyone's okay? Sure. Sure. If it'll make you feel better. Is the harbor master calling the sea breeze? Sea breeze, sea breeze, come in. Harbor master calling the sea breeze. Do you read me? Over. Not answering. Exactly. Doesn't that show you that something must be wrong? No, not necessarily. I mean, there's a prom going on. The music could be loud. The captain probably didn't even hear the call. Well, I still think we should take a look. I mean, what, what harm could it be? We can just take the patrol boat out. First of all, we don't have any coordinates on the boat. And it's not showing up on the radar screen. Well, why isn't it showing up on the radar screen? <laughs> could be any number of reasons. It could have pulled into a cove. could have automatically cut off the radar. Look, let me just take the patrol boat out. Sorry, I can't let you do that. There's a real emergency. I'm going to need that. Look, why don't you go home, get a good night's sleep? I'm sure you're worried about nothing. Prophecy said, Charity has to kill Miguel so that we can bring her over to the dark side. We need her powers so that I can regain my own powers. And then nothing will be able to stop us. We'll wreak havoc and harmony, the likes of which have never been seen. Oh, poor Charity! Oh, stop saying that. Unless you want to go back to being stuffing for the pillow or a scratching post of Fluffy. No, 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 please, no! Then rejoice in the fact that my infinite patience has paid off. I 
rooms in the basement will be duly impressed. Uh-oh. Here comes somebody who will not be impressed. Teresa, all those months I was convinced she was after you. I was right, wasn't I? God, I knew it. I knew it. God, I was such a fool to leave you alone with this scheming little witch. Look, Gwen, look, we can discuss this later. Look, we have to get off this boat. No, I want to know right now, yes or no. Guys, what the hell are you doing? The last lifeboat just left. You're going to have to swim for it. we got to get off this boat. I know you're here. I can sense the presence of evil. Evil be gone! Let goodness alone! It's her! She did it! You shut up or you'll be spending the night with Fluffy! Oh, if I had my powers now, I'd show that beast a thing or two! Uh, help me! Late blind priest. That was Miguel's last breath. Ugh! <sighs> 
scratches on my legs that I got from Luis dragging me through the woods like a maniac. Yeah, well, Luis overreacts sometimes. I sure hope he was overreacting about the boat. Thanks. I thought he'd be back by now. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not. Unless maybe something did happen to the boat. But look at the sky. I mean, it's a clear night. Yeah, it's hard to believe that there's a storm out there and the skies are so clear. I know, but I can't believe Luis would stay away this long. I mean, unless something was wrong. He's absolutely obsessed with protecting me. Are you worried that something's gonna happen to you while he's gone? No. And first of all, I don't think there's any hitman after me. You don't? After all the attempts that have been made on your life, Luis didn't imagine it, Sheridan. I know that, but I mean, all the attempts failed. The drug cartel's probably given up trying to kill me. And besides... I have you here to protect me. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Look, I'm not worried. I'm gonna go make some espresso. Would you like some? Yeah, it sounds good. Thanks. Sheridan doesn't realize that these guys will not give up until they get what they want. I really had such hopes for us. Thought you might be the one. You're not going to see anything, Luis. The sea is as calm as it gets. Yeah? Well, my gut tells me that something's wrong. But I'm not going to be satisfied until I see for myself that that boat's afloat and those kids are all right. Why don't you take the police helicopter up? Yeah, I would, all right? Some team just took it into Bridgetown to look for a bank robber. You know what? Sam's got a boat. I'll just take it for myself. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. No one's allowed to take the police chief's boat out without explicit permission. Well, come on, Nate. Cut me some slack, all right? The Chief's not just my boss, but he's a personal friend of mine. Well, even if everything is okay out there, he'd be happy to know that I went to check it out. You know, I wish I could help you, but my hands are tied. I hope you understand. Yeah, well, I hope you understand this.
sorry. Until I was facing death, I didn't realize how much I loved you. How much I loved you. I don't want to hurt Grace. But I can't let you go to Want me to get the door? Will you please? Hey. Hello, Hank. Have you heard anything about the prom boat? No, just that there's a big storm out there. Luis went down to the docks to check it out. Oh. Do you think there's a storm? Uh. Oh, Pilar, have you heard anything about the boat? Well, it's not good. I spoke to Mrs. Crane, who's on the boat, and she said they're in terrible danger. She wanted me to send help, so I came looking for Luis. I, I tried to reach the harbor master, but there was no answer. Well, Luis was worried about Miguel and Teresa, so he went down to the docks. I know. Hank told me. Yeah, we were just wondering how there could be a storm out there when the night's so calm and clear. I don't know. I don't know. It's just so odd. I mean, there's nothing on the news about it, and I could hear the storm on the phone when I was speaking with Mrs. Crane. Ethan's on that boat, too. Luis hasn't come back. That means something has to be terribly wrong. You know, I'm going down to the docks. No, Sheridan, you can't go down to the docks. It's too dangerous. You'll be a walking target. Don't you start to, Hank. Well, Luis won't like it. I don't care. I'm going. I'll come with you. I have come to fight the powers of hell. You're too late. There is evil here. Great evil is being done. The powers of evil that are forged in hell. But there is goodness here. And goodness will overcome this evil. I'm afraid. Hush, Timmy. The powers of the pendant are stronger than powers of goodness. And you know what that means to me? It means that we've won. Yes! The song just stopped. Yeah. Thank God. 
Are you all right? Are you going to be able to swim? What? Are you going to carry me on your back? If I can't? If I have to. You really think you can do anything you set your mind to, don't you? Yeah. I believe you. When it comes to tennis, you set your mind on someone. About me. Chad, go back. I know this is hardly the time and place to be discussing this. Well, what should we be talking about, huh? Dying? When you're about to die, I can't think of anything else we should be talking about. Chad, look, nobody's gonna die, okay? Just save your strength so that we can swim to shore. Uh, no! I'm, I'm not going anywhere. It's what you tell me. You were just about to say. All right. Maybe. Maybe you were right. About what? What you said about me hiding behind my tennis. About me maybe wanting someone in my life. The storm, it's really stopped. I know. Look at the sky, it's so clear. Oh, thank God. You now we might get out of here alive. I'll make it back in. I want you to know, Grace, even if we didn't, even if something terrible happened now or in the future, I love you. Oh. Our friendship means so much to me. I know that, Eve. I feel the same way. I trust you with my life. Have you ever seen anything like this? This has got to be the weirdest weather I've ever seen. Yeah. What's Ivy doing on the boat? She came on to me again. I was so furious, I wanted to throw her overboard. So what happened to her? Did she get off the boat? I don't know, TC. It's crazy she makes me. I'm worried about her. I hope she got off. There was a time... When I thought I couldn't live without her. You can stay up much longer. Ethan, you can't just leave me here. Look, look, it's just for a minute. Just until I can get Teresa and bring her back here. But Ethan, I'm your fiance. I'm the one you love. Ethan, don't leave me. Gwen, I can't let Teresa drown. My son, Luis. Seen him. He just punched me in the jaw and drove off in Chief Bennett's boat. He punched you? Why would he do that? He kept saying he had to go out and check on that boat the kids are on the prom with. Said they were in the middle of a big storm. I kept telling him there's no storm out there. You're wrong, Nate. Ivy Crane is on that boat. I spoke to her and she told me they were in a terrible storm. That the boat was sinking. Are you sure this isn't some kind of a hoax? Some kind of a, a prank? No, yes, I am sure. Please, I mean, those children could die. Well, then I won't hold it against Luis for punching me. I'll get the Coast Guard out there as soon as possible. It's the Harmony Harbor Master calling Coast Guard. Did Mrs. Crane say whether or not the kids got off that boat all right? She didn't say. 
We just saw Julian drive away and he was on the boat. So we can only hope that everyone else got off the boat safely. But if they did, then where are they? I'm sorry, nobody's gonna die. You're gonna be alright. Here we go. Gwen, are you alright? I'm still alive. Sorry, Teresa. Gwen. I bet you're a champion swimmer, aren't you? No, I'm not. I wouldn't drown if it weren't for Ethan. There's a boat! Help us! Hey! Help! It's my brother! Luis! Luis, over here! Over here, Luis! Hey! Over here! I can't stop thinking about Charity's premonition. She said something horrible that happened at prom and it did, but how could she know? I told you, Jessica. She's either nuts or she's an alien. You pick. You're horrible, Kate. So he was a kid and believe it in my sister. Well, how would she know all this stuff was going to happen if she wasn't an alien? I wonder if Chad's okay. What's wrong? It's a girl. Please, look at me. <laughs> Sam, I think I heard something. It sounded like somebody calling your name. Who's there? It's me, Father. It's Miguel. Miguel, my son, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay now, Father. Thank God. Hell will not visit Harmony this day. My work is done here. Charity, what happened? He almost choked me to death. Why? Why would you do that? She did it because she's become evil, you stupid boy. The pendant sowed the seeds of evil in Charity's subconscious. Oh, I can't wait to see what she does next. Coast Guard's going to start the search. Okay, thanks, Nate. Bennett! Why didn't you shoot her? You know, I wish you'd leave me the hell alone. You know we won't. Not until you do what you have to do. And time is running out. You have to kill Sheridan Crane tonight. Look at this debris, Pilar. Sea breeze. That was the name of the boat they were on. What happened to our loved ones? Miguel and Teresa. Ethan. Luis. How you doing? You still got pain? Yeah. I don't think I can make it. You're gonna make it, Whitney, okay? We're both gonna make it. All right, so don't even start thinking like that. All right? Neither one of us is gonna drown. I can't, okay? <laughs> you go on. I can't do it. Don't 
Super silly. I am not leaving you. Y'all, Lawrence, we're both gonna drown, okay? <laughs> I'm glad I found you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Richie, you all right? Yes, please. I'm okay. okay. I'm so glad you came along. Yeah. All right. What about everyone else? Where's Miguel? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that everybody got off the boat, but yeah. whether they survived or not, I... All right. I saw my father getting a life raft. But I'm not sure about my mother. Oh, no. uh, I think my mother's still out there. Mother! Ivy! Mother, can you hear me? Ivy, are you out there? Mother! Ivy! Mother! Ivy! Look, see, there's someone in the water. Oh my god, it's Ivy! Looks like she's about had it. Don't let her drown, Sam. Save her. 